Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome to my newest House of Iron 4 video. Today we will be playing as Greece and going communist. Because I haven't done that, I haven't explored that focus tree completely. We have done Byzantium, but we have not done a communist Greece. Or a fascist one for that matter, but I want to try a communist one. There is going to be some difficulty, but I believe in us. I'm also going back to historical focuses for this one. I still haven't decided which way I should be playing. Let me know what you prefer. I might even do a poll on the channel. Do you like historical, non-historical, where there's some randomness, totally random, or a mix? Do let me know in the comments. And before we begin the video, a message from a sponsor. This video is brought to you by Kingdom Maker. Kingdom Maker is free to play on iOS and Android, and you can use my link in the description below to download it. But what is it? Kingdom Maker combines RTS, RPG and simulation gameplay to create an immersive, massive multiplayer medieval fantasy world. You can play your own way, use your nobles for research, trading, dungeon delving or diplomacy, or even romance. Use your highly customizable armies in total war-esque combat. Spectate any battle in real time or join the fun. See PvP fights, announce in global chat and reinforce whoever you please. Immerse yourself in the light-hearted, unique IP world that doesn't really take itself too seriously. It's full of tropes, but they're tropes for a reason. There's strategy, there's fantasy, there's whimsy and there is some depth like social systems. So why not try it out? If this game looks like something you would enjoy, make sure to follow my link in the description below to try it out. Or you can use the QR code that is appearing on the screen right now. And remember, it is free to play on iOS and Android. Try Kingdom Make out, see if you like it, and remember that doing so helps the channel out. Okay, back to Hearts of Iron, regular difficulty, Iron Man mode, historical focuses, Greece. Let's go. We start with a bunch of negative modifiers, but we will not worry about them. We'll just deal with them in time. First up, there are two main paths. This can lead us to Byzantium or Communism. This one can lead us to be fascist if we so choose. Anyways, we're going communist. For that, we need to arrest the king and let the election take place. We also have factions here, but I think they will all disappear when we go communist. So let's not worry about them too much. In the meantime, we will divide you with a drachma for some extra political power. Okay, let's speed the game up, get some research. The basic gun is not yet researched, let's do that. 1936, some more science boosts and industry. Greece is one of these countries where you enter play late because you have to deal with a bunch of internal issues like in Turkey. And I don't generally like that. I prefer more focused focus trees. Well, so Battle for Bosphorus is definitely not my favorite DLC. Good news is that in the newer DLC, like Nostra Beck, uh, Paradox has moved to more concentrated focus trees that let you do stuff early. With Greece, we will be limited. We will have to start our expansion quite late. And maybe you won't be the biggest power in the world, but we'll still get some stuff. We'll get civilian factories, we'll need them to repay our debts. Now we have a debt, we could default on it when we turn communist. I'm not sure what effects that has, so we'll have to decide if we want to repay the debts or just ignore them. Maybe ignoring them is the best choice, but that costs 300 political power. But well, that is a decision for later. Let's make some submarines and some convoys and a lot of guns. I'll also continue producing artillery. We'll be using infantry plus artillery. That is pretty good. We start with a decent sized army, nothing too great, but sufficient. Okay, let's unpause. Election has happened. We get, oh, that's a very good leader, actually. Lots of political power and political advisor cost reduction. That's wonderful. And there are two things we want to do. Take this path down to the research slot and also become communist. Not too quickly. Then again, maybe the quicker the better. Let's bring home exiled Republicans first. Extra political power. I have a bonus to getting political advisors, but none of these are the ones we want. Also, when we turn communist, we will only have a few available. The Marxist academic and priest, the elusive gentleman. I think this guy. Yeah, probably. We could crush the monarchists. That would increase our overall stability once we go communist, but I'm pretty sure when we actually turn communist, this will be inconsequential. I could also repay my debts. So we can do a series of payments. Each of these is 60 days and we need to do 12. There are going to be two years of, of repayment or we can just default on the debt once we turn communist. You know, I think repaying the debt might actually be a better choice. Should take effect faster, shouldn't it? Unless we go straight to communism. And I was thinking of boosting our economy a bit before that as well. Yeah, let's repay the debt. I'm not sure what I'm going to do against uh, uh, Britain, France and Italy. We'll probably fight Italy but it's gonna take a while. I think if we repay the debts 
it will take effect faster and be overall better. Let's improve worker conditions and start debt repayments. Now, should we request communist support already or work on the economy first? Let's go for these because there's extra political power and research slots in there. Request communist support. Also, when the communists are friendly, we can actually start getting some advisors. I love an agency, but we just don't have the factories for it. If we could get some extra war support from world tension and the proper advisor, I might actually go to partial mobilization soon. Socialist economy, please. And better guns. Also, some steel. More debt repayment. I could crush the monarchists, but I think this will go away on its own once we switch governments. Let's get the Marxist priest. It's just some more support. But he is cheap and we can use him for uh, possibly getting partial mobilization. Just need one more point of war support for this. That would help us quite a lot. I mean, war economy is better, but it requires a lot of war support. Civil war in Spain. Just need a little bit more world tension to get my war support to 25. Socialist economy. Let's do nationalist banks. Uh, I actually prefer the Schacht plan, but going down here gives us an extra research slot, which is very much worth it. And more debt repayments, please. Hmm, this will also make switching to partial mobilization cheap. Cheaper. Nationalized banks done. Greek Industrial Revolution. Lots of factories and a free research slot. Well, not free. I have to pay for it, but an extra one. I wish Spain would cost some more world tension. We're one point of war support away from getting this. Repay more debts. I keep forgetting to click this. Maybe defaulting on it would be the better choice. Yeah, let's keep friendly. Greek Industrial Revolution done. Now, what do we do next? Get some extra political power here. Or utilize our strength. Let's utilize our strength because this also gives us extra political power and happens a bit faster. Research slot number four. Four research slots can do a lot now that we don't have to spend one for a doctrine. I love the infantry expert, but when we turn communist, we will lose him. So let's just get the army regrouping expert so we can start accumulating army experience. And I'm keeping enough political power to go to partial mobilization if the world tension allows it. Just need a little bit more. Oh, right, we can do foreign subsidized factory. This is gonna give us a lot of factories if we can have good relations. Let's improve relations with France, UK, Germany, and the Soviets. Oh, Germany doesn't like me. Ah, damn it, Schachtplan. Should have done that earlier. Oh. Well, it's just two factories, but it is a serious mistake. Damn it. More debt repayment. Let's get the those extra factories. Definitely should have done that before getting rid of the Schacht plan. Oh well. Still putting six instead of eight factories is still a lot of factories for us. I need someone to increase world tension. Maybe Japan. Keep repaying the debt. Ah, new development in the Spanish Civil War. Still insufficient. Did we get the factories? I think we did. We did get the factories. Great. Some more artillery maybe. Hmm. Farmer focused culture replaced with farmer managed agricultural communes, which does nothing. Well, it's fine because if you go the other way around and first do this and then utilize our strength to get uh, some sort of exodus, rural exodus, I think that is very detrimental. Let's go down this path for the fifth research slot and to get rid of the monopolies problem. We could go straight to communism and start attacking people, but only one we could realistically take right now is uh, Bulgaria and possibly Yugoslavia. Maybe that is the way to go. Maybe we should do that. There is a bit of a time skip here. Unfortunately, I took a short break and stopped recording for that break and forgot to start again when I returned. Only now did I notice it. But I'm going to, rather than restart, I'm going to tell you what happened here. Because nothing too exciting took place. We finished this part of the tree to switch to communism. I cancelled this focus while it was going on to finish this quicker so that we can start attacking people. Now we have a choice to make. Are we going with Stalin or are we going at it alone? This gives us an easy war goal on Bulgaria and lets us ally Yugoslavia if we so choose. Also I want to attack two countries in the near future. Definitely Bulgaria and either Yugoslavia or Turkey. They're both guaranteed by Romania so we will be conquering Romania, Bulgaria and either Yugoslavia or Turkey. They have the same amount of factories loosely Oops, unpause too quickly. And both of them are good targets, but I think Turkey should take priority. We're going this way, because this also gives us Yugoslavia. So what I'm going to do is use this to attack Bulgaria and quickly justify a war goal on Turkey now. We should be able to take them. We'll use Bulgaria as a puppet to serve as a buffer against Romania until we conquer Turkey. 220 days and then we attack. Should be fine. Okay, so let's go after Bulgaria. Sadly, this will switch our pretty good leader to a worse one. He is pretty neat. Also, I didn't realize I would have 50 war support by now. If I did, I wouldn't have gone to partial mobilization. I would have gone to war economy right now. But the difference between the two is not that great, so we're going to... Uh, just stay at partial mobilization for now. So yeah, prepare for the great anti-fascist war, please. Also, we almost paid off the debt. Help us turning communist doesn't stop me from repaying it, because then I would have wasted a lot of political power. I also prepared templates. This one for garrisons and deploying, this one for regular frontline operations, and two mountaineer ones, one with engineers and one without 
for when we run out of support equipment. Also, let's reduce the artillery production and increase infantry equipment production. Okay, let's continue. A reluctant Stalinist. We should go to extensive conscription as soon as possible, and maybe even to service by requirement, depending on the situation. Now that we are communists, we can designate the generals we'll be using, because they won't change anymore. Uh, you will be my field marshal. I can't use him as an infantry expert because wrong ideology. So let's take two that are not yet advisors so we can get proper experts, both mountaineer tricksters. And you will be an aggressive assaulter, offensive and charismatic and improvisation expert. I also switched all my troops to this infantry plus artillery template. Ten with, except for three mountaineer units. You guys spread to garrisons and exercise for now. Now, if the option to continue repaying the dead does not appear, I'm going to be very angry. <sighs> Who would have thought the option is not here? God damn it. This looks like a bug, because if I'm not able to repay, then the debt should disappear. And if I am able to repay, where's my option to repay? <sighs> Very annoying. I hope this gets fixed. Let's do extensive conscription. Do we need good relations with Italy? Let's see if that's the case. Probably not, but let's try it. Dominate the Bulgarians. We've researched on the elusive civilian train. Italy likes me. I guess I can max the relations because upholding this doesn't cost much. And still, no option to repay the debt. I am getting very annoyed. Perhaps I should have just not bothered with repaying it. Or paid off all of it before turning communist. Either way, this is infuriating. This is my least favorite DLC. Battle for Bosphorus. Right, stop the exercise, cancel the orders, get ready to crush Bulgaria with a quick, decisive, aggressive attack. Joseph will not let me into his faction. Ah, we have our war goal. Let us attack Bulgaria. Let's ignore this for now. This is a war goal in Turkey, but only if they're fascist. It can be helpful, but we'll leave it for later. Instead, let's do connecting our prefectures. And the attack on Bulgaria is going very well. Extremely well, even. Let's see if Turkey got guaranteed by anyone. Uh, no one but Romania. How about the debt repayment? No option. Damn it. Let's improve relations with Joseph to make sure he lets us into the common turn after this war. This will be crucial. We're about to take Sofia. They should be surrendering in a moment. There it goes. Now, I could theoretically take this bit for myself and the next the rest. It does have some factories. I need them as a puppet in order to be separated from Romania. I guess I'll just leave it to them for now. It's their core after all. I'll get it later when we next them. Bulgaria has been puppeted. Let's get ready to fight Turkey now. Fighting Turkey is tricky. They're probably about as strong as we are, so we'll have to be smart about this. We will also need the Soviet Union luring them away, but not actually in the fight. Same for Romania. I would also like to pay off that damn debt. Time to plan some naval invasions, I suppose. I'll leave an army of 12 here and make them progress slowly and carefully. Another army of 12 will attack here from the Northern Island. We will send 10 of you on the naval invasions of this port here. It's far away, I'm hoping it won't be that well defended. But then the, I guess I could send them from the Soviet Union up here, but I would need to call them in, so no. If we can land here, that will be quite helpful. I'll send six to the southern island here and leave eight as reinforcements. I might need to send them to help one or the other army. This should work out nicely if we join the Compton and they are pulled back to the Soviet border to guard that as well. This should do, hopefully. Let's make him a skirmisher. Same here and same here. Okay, good, get in position. You guys patrol the seas necessary for the naval invasions. Yep, I think we have everything ready. I'd love to repay my debt. So we wasted 250 political power on this and uh, some factory operation. Let's send our guys to Turkey and Romania. I could prepare a collaboration government in Yugoslavia, but we're gonna make them a friend. And let's do cryptology. Is that enough? Hmm. Do we have enough um, troops in the field? Have enough manpower for more? Don't really have more guns. I guess we might want to deploy a third army. Now let's do that. Would you let me into the content? Yes, you would. Okay, let's wait for our war goal to be ready and join right before attacking. Then no guarantees will pop up because of that. Munich agreement and we do hmm, this. More political power and research. Hmm, Marxist academic, more political power. We do get enough political power, I think. Oh, well, this guy, more recruitable population and better garrisons. Hmm, I'll think about it. For now, uh, let's go with the Grand Battle Plan Expert because we can't get a normal doctrine guy. So Grand Battle Plan is not my preferred tactic, but we will do it anyway. So also do Professional Officer Corps and hmm, Medical Preparation. Yeah, looks like we're good to go. This is heavily defended, but this is not. If we can cut through here, that's a great staging point for a bigger invasion. Form department. Yay for cryptology. Let's start decrypting Turkey. Justification is complete. Okay, so now I'm gonna slow the game down. No, no, no. 
ask to join the Comintern. Oh, I could ask for military access first. Let's do that. This will be useful if we ever leave the Comintern, although I don't plan to do so. Now we can ask them to join the Comintern. Let's do that. Slow the game down so there's no new guarantee on Turkey. Wait for one hour specifically. Okay, let's speed the game up now and declare war. I will not call in any allies or puppets. Why? Well, because Bulgaria will serve as a buffer so Romania can't attack me, and the Soviet Union will serve to scare Turkey into putting a lot of troops here, so we have less troops to fight. I could, of course, call them in to defeat them easily, but if I did that, they would take the territory themselves, and that's not what we want to happen. Okay, I put everyone on balanced. I guess I'll change that for the naval invasion, and go. They called in Romania. Let's make sure to not lose any territory. Oh, they're attacking these two, and nobody's attacking the middle one. This one should stay behind, so they don't around us. This is looking good, this is looking less good, naval invasion, this is defended, we still don't know if it will succeed. Okay, the port is defended, but we might succeed. The others will land around it and perhaps provide enough support. There is just one defender guy. In the meantime, they're moving some troops to the Soviet border, which is good, reducing their strength. Can we succeed? Oh, land lease from the Soviet Union, very appreciated. There is a small chance of success here, yes. If we land, this will be very good for us. Turkey is stronger than I expected them to be. What happened here? How do they push these guys back? That's unexpected. How bad are you that you let them take the island? It's fine. More than these. Oh, we've landed. We got the port. Great. Only lost one unit. Attack? Maybe balanced. Attack. How many troops did you send to the Soviet border? Just five. That's not a lot. We got some territory here. Good. Do I send reinforcements here or here? Let's send a couple here. Oh, and we got through. Perfect. This is very much undefended, so let's go at it very aggressively. And you also get some reinforcements. Go. God damn it. Why did they leave? Generally speaking, my army seems to not be doing a very good job. At least we did retake the island. I was really hoping to tie up more of the troops on the Soviet border. A victory in these circumstances might be difficult. Let's do war propaganda. Hmm, supplies are scarce here. Let's relocate some of these troops to a better supplied location. Can we run and get another port? Because if we get pushed out of this one, these guys are as good as dead. Hmm, a bit of running around seems to be working. Maybe that will disrupt them sufficiently. Export more luxury commodities. We've reached Istanbul. Cause some more chaos in their territory. See, mm, this whole army will probably die because they're moving troops in to intercept them and so on. But that means there will be less troops here in the more important parts. We might actually get across the strait here. We can become the spy master of the common turn. Sure, let's do that. That is some extra operatives. Better gun researched. New operative. Let's send them to Romania. Maybe we can get the collaboration government going there. And we are across. Then send the two remaining troops over here. Make him an infantry expert, because that's an option now. Also an infantry specialist. And proceed with the attack. If we can connect here, our supply situation will be much better. Let's try and do that. Perfect. Supply is restored. Transfer some troops to the other army. He has better skills, slightly. And continue. Oh, they lost the port. Yeah, this army's dead. Pity. Let's make everyone aggressive. We need to move faster before this pocket of resistance is taken care of. We need to move faster here while their troops are distracted south. Let's get a doctrine going. Grand battle plan. That's fine. Okay, we can expand our tobacco industry for four civilian factories or mining operations for three military factories. I think I'll benefit more from military factories right now. Also, this one gives a research bonus. Can I get their capital? It is undefended, but that's possible. Yeah, so they're gonna die. How far from capitulation is Turkey? Not even halfway there. But we are making good progress. Let's get the planes here. Try some collaboration governments in Romania. Oh, I need support equipment for that. Let's produce some. Also make sure the mountaineers we have are using the template without support equipment. Another cutoff from supply, I can switch it. Oh, that's fine. Just need to prioritize operations. Better artillery, maybe? Hmm, we're still holding on. Who oh, is Ankara? Uh, is Hatay providing us with some supplies? It might be. Encourage tourism or mobilize the economy. Oh, this moves me to war economy. Perfect. Wait a minute. This gives me booming tourism industry. Political power gain 15%. We'll lose this as soon as we enter a war. Never mind then. Mobilize our economy. Germany claims Mamo, not my problem. No. Can I safely just find Hungary or will you join the Axis? It is risky. I'll leave that for later. You know what? I'm also going to disband all these cavalry units. I need the guns to be delivered to our guys on the front lines instead. Hmm. We actually have enough support equipment for them. Good. Let's go to balanced instead. The aggressive was probably not the best choice. And boost to our infantry. Okay, now we just need to wait a moment. This collaboration government operation is very expensive. Not sure if I made the right decision. But if it succeeds, it will help my economy quite a lot later on. Okay, now we have three choices here. Rejuvenate Athens. Four building slots. Three factories. Make use of our islands. One dockyard, two factories, five building slots. And can be used better if I take the islands from Britain and Italy. Or clear the slums. Lots of manpower. And just building slots, not factories. I could use the manpower. 
I'm going to clear the slums. They got three factories. Oh, 60,000 manpower is worth it. Let's clear the slums. Will we finally take Izmir? Yes, yes we did. Huh, surprising. You. Oh, I think it'll be easier to manage if you just join this attack. Looking good. Now, garrisons. Let's use the cavalry. I should put them on low priority right now. Okay, medium's fine. Then these? Cool. You know, I need it. I'm making very slow progress, much slower than I would want to. But we are winning, and we are even killing more than we're losing. Fate of Czechoslovakia. And Zog submits. Okay, now that much time left before the war begins. I'm going to justify in Hungary. I might cancel it later. More organization for infantry, that's gonna help. The cipher's decrypted. Perfect. Let's use it immediately. I won't forget this time. Start decrypting Romania. I'll go aggressive now that I have the cipher. I will. At least temporarily. Cipher is a big boost after all. Still far from capitulation. We've cleared the slums. Now, finally we can nationalize the foreign monopoly, which will boost our economy me tremendously. Of course I would prefer to just pay off my debt. Oh, and let's crush the monarchists. That's gonna help our stability when it's complete. And improve worker conditions. Is Hungary guaranteed by Germany? No. Okay, if I kill Romania in time, we will go after Hungary. Cyphers no longer active. Go back to balanced, please. How far from victory are we? There's no point trying to redo the cipher. I think we'll finish the war before it's done. Maybe I can even connect to my guys here. Unlikely, but possible. There's even an empty bit here. If we change the axis, that's fine. And we have fixed the monopoly situation. Now, research slot number five. Mot of Ribbentrop, which um, prevents us from being attacked by the Axis for a while, I think. Yeah, level five, nice. Inventory expert, please. We did take terrible casualties, but at least we'll get Turkey. Oh, encirclement, nice. Kill them. Can we connect now? Looks possible. Let's get the guerrilla warfare expert. And the inventory specialist, who I forgot to hire earlier. Poland refuses German ultimatum, so the war starts. We haven't taken that much. Oh, this gives me a war goal in Hungary, I forgot about that. Anyways, let's do that, attack the fascists. I'm going to cancel this justification then, because the war goal we will get from the focus will last much longer. Poland joins the allies, not my problem. This is taking too long, isn't it? Maybe this will help. Looks like it is helping. You can become an army regrouping guy. Do I have one already? Yes, I do. Let's make this army aggressive. Germany goes for the Benelux, not an issue for us. I wonder if I can manage to get hungry in time. Poland capitulates. That was quick. And they go for Belgium. Probably should have attacked Yugoslavia. I would have defeated them three times already by now. And not Turkey. They're surprisingly tough, Turks. But this isn't a well planned out playthrough. I am exploring it as I go. So yeah, I probably wouldn't have gone after Turkey if I did that again. But attacked Yugoslavia instead. Ah, we've connected. Glorious. Let's uh, rework the orders then. You are level 5, you will handle the attack. Oh, and you are level 6. Even better. Now let's capitulate to the Germans. How are we doing here? Oh, that's the second coalition government. Good. Attack the fascists. That gives me war goal on Hungary. And we've exhausted all the really good options here. Oh, I could ally Tito and get some, get some cores with this. But I don't want to do that right now investment schemes hmm. Hmm, this would have been useful well then we will boost our armed forces then yeah, this is going too slowly let's uh, make them super aggressive even if it causes some losses next doctrine we deciphered romania good seriously though how is turkey surviving so much we're almost done with them still this took forever gotta respect their defensive abilities finally turkey has capitulated i'm going to take everything well, first, to use this, and then take all the remaining states. Not liberating anything, this is ours. No. How are the logistics? We need more artillery. Manpower, not so great. Let's go to service bar requirement. Put these guys on Romania's border. It is finally time. Stop the naval mission, no longer necessary. No, actually, I could do a naval invasion through the Black Sea, but it's probably a bad idea. Let's just attack from here. I will send them to the Black Sea, though, to stop the Romanians invading us. I don't have a large air force. Do you have some? Let's send them here. Bulgaria, do you have any troops that I could requisition? Yes, you do. Six. Okay. Oh, he's level five as well. He's your commander then. Got some nice high level commanders. This I have Hungary next. I could just attack them now. Will I be allowed to join the Axis if I do so? If they are, that will be a major problem for me. Or maybe not since the Soviets are here. I'll wait until I deal with Romania, which I'm about to do. Get in position, get your planning bonuses, and more important to your organization, or well, they're bringing reinforcements. We probably attack right now. Let's call in Bulgaria. This should be relatively easy. We are attacking across the river, but uh, their forces are spread thin, and mine are not. Fall of Paris. And France capitulates. Damn it, I forgot. Cypher. Cypher, Cypher. Should have used that immediately. But using it now is also fine. Here, get to their capital. Bucharest is mine, which should weaken them significantly. I need much more than that to make them capitulate, but we have already gone far. Oh, and the third collaboration government thing is already in preparation. Hmm. I guess I might as well cancel it. I can wait a bit, I guess. Denmark was attacked. And Norway. Manpower is a problem. Oh no, this is going well. Romania capitulates. Glorious. 
thanks to those collaboration governments it happened so quickly and so on pass 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 and take all states 75 percent collaboration instantly 52 factories now hungary i'm ready for you are you ready for me of course i attack from my territory only we don't want to share with the soviets they are very greedy let's get in position and attack Hungary, and after that, I think we'll go after Yugoslavia. Just having a normal war goal, and that would probably um, make them guaranteed by the UK. Although the UK has more pressing matters to attend to, but still. Uh, fortunately, I can cause a civil war to put them in my faction. With a focus. Get in position quickly, please. That focus is Ally Tito. 70 days, we should be done with Hungary before that elapses. You guys ready? Almost. Ally incident, and we declare war on Hungary. Also, I forgot to move my agents there. I have four of them. If I stack them all, up here quickly might get an attack bonus and afterwards i will move them to germany and italy go 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 damn it hungary joined axis really well that's a problem or is it maybe we can deal with them with soviet help although i should probably abandon this okay i need to change what i'm doing just one army goes here and attacks in a balanced manner another army goes over to what used to be albania and attacks there one army goes down to Rhodes, and the other one yep italy has been called in can you move quickly please hope you can fortunately the soviets have been called in haven't they well no but they're going to be called in calling everyone in this is our breaks mode of ribbentrop pact which isn't technically correct i did break it but it doesn't really matter problem is we're probably not very ready to take on germany and italy but we can try my troops are on their way we'll leave yugoslavia neutral it'll make it easier for me to handle myself around here fortunately the soviets have secured our borders nice one soviets let's get an infantry equipment designer so now that them at war with italy shouldn't that get rid of my italian debt oh interesting with these i'll be able to get bonuses against in Germany. Let's do some more propaganda. We are fighting the Germans a bit. I should not have attacked Hungary. Ah, the backbone of the army with this will get the best guns. Let's get a logistical focus and which one? Well planned attack, sure. We have taken the Italian port. Can we take Rhodes? Probably not. But we can take Albania and we will. Here situation is a bit more difficult because there's Germans involved. Hmm, we got an achievement. Freedom or death. Okay, now should we incite Yugoslavia to join us? Probably not. Things are difficult as they are. Let's do logistics wizard on the field marshal and send our guys over here although i will leave a couple to guard our ports against naval invasions problem is we have a lot of ports but at least these ones the german attack is stronger than we anticipated i really should not have attacked hungary or called bulgaria in because then we would have a buffer here i'm gonna do all adult stuff i don't really have a choice here now what if i give the allies military access would you like to send me some troops and free fronts do you still exist you can send me some divisions to help backbone of the army researched the legacy of war let's leave this for now Research the best guns. Well, we are defending in the mountains, so we might be able to hold them here. It is a difficult situation. Let's put my guys on defensive so they don't attack for no good reason. Oh, we did take roads. Cool. I'm gonna send my navy there so the Italians can't really get to it, hopefully. And this army can join the defense. Go and help them. Right, the Italians shouldn't be able to get through here. Could try and send naval invasions to the south of Italy, but we have bigger problems. I am out of manpower. Let's extend our range over here, cancel the garrison thing, and focus everything on surviving the German attack. And I do have naval supremacy apparently, so I could invade Italy navally. Just don't have the troops to spare. The main mistake I made was attacking Hungary, but another one was calling Bulgaria in. I just let them go in here and stop at Bulgaria's borders. Now oh, the Soviets are doing naval invasions perfect. I only gave them supremacy and they did it. Good job, Joseph. If Italy falls, it will be much easier. Night assault tactics. We're almost done with the doctrines too. We decrypted the Hungarian cipher. It's not going to help much. Let's use it. Okay, looks like we have slowed down their advance. That's all we could hope for, really. Don't really care about the mechanization, but this will help us a little bit. Byzantine army. New weapon, old tricks. And the Soviet Union is doing a good job here. Really beating up Italy. We're going to build some military factories in Bulgaria. So let us reduce their independence and use those factories. Oh, another naval invasion. Joseph is on fire. Next doctrine. Okay, looks like we stopped them and we finally have some manpower. Or oh, adults serve, so it comes at the cost, but still, we do have manpower. All of Kiev. Ooh, that is pretty bad. If I had troops to spare, I'd send them to Italy, but I don't. Did I say we stopped them? We didn't. Slow them down a bit. Perhaps we should just fortify this border here, but then I'll lose all the Romanian factories. <laughs> the Soviets got pushed back. It is unfortunate, but maybe they'll hold out. Yes, Belgium, you can move your troops into my territory. The attack on Italy is being pushed back, unfortunately. I also have to watch out for Vichy France. They can attack me from the south if they join the fight. Let's push back a bit. Uncautious. 
Well, let's try. This is not looking very good. Last Doctrine. Hmm, the allies are doing something for a change. Maybe I can survive this. Let's give it a chance. Germans doing better than they should. And through all that, I am still in debt to Italy. Ah, best guns researched. I want to turn the tide of the war, but it might help me a bit. Because I joined the allies, which means they're on our side. Ah, damn it. Which means they're gonna get conquered by Italy, and I'll have the Germans over here. So let's give them a chance. Maybe they'll, they'll manage somehow. Worst case scenario, I can retreat one army to this border here. No, there's no good solution here. Must count on the Soviets, that's all I can do. I messed up, but maybe we can survive this together. Their fight against Yugoslavia is spreading their forces a little bit thinner. Looks like the Soviets are doing a bit better in Italy thanks to that. We shall see. Need to send some troops over here, otherwise I'll get crushed when Yugoslavia capitulates. Well, the Axis took greater losses than we did. That's about the only positive about this. Oh, another positive. The Allies are doing something. Not much, but something. Let's reveal the German cipher. British Electric. Sure. Or English Electric. We will need these stratagems, but let's wait to use them until Yugoslavia is defeated, because then we'll have, you know, more use of them. Well, Moscow, very unfortunate. You know, Yugoslavia is still holding on, aren't they? What I'm going to do is send these troops over to Italy. If we can capitulate Italy, that'll make things easier. And when Yugoslavia capitulates, I'll bring them back quickly. I hope. Ah, Japan attacks the Philippines, which means we'll soon have help from the United States, which might suffice to let us survive. Go kill the Italians. Probably should have done that a while ago. Because if I can capitulate them, that will make things much more manageable. Even got full of Rome. It is going to the Soviet Union, but that's fine. I just need to survive my mistake of attacking Hungary. And this is going splendidly. I do have a very good army, it's just uh, it is much smaller than the attackers here. Well, technically we are the attackers, but I just wanted to fight Hungary. Not all of the Axis. So, this is looking very, very promising. Of course, Italy is not the main force in this, but if we take them out, the assault on us will be a little less deadly. Come on, you're almost there. How far are they from capitulation? Yeah, almost there. They'd have capitulated already if I did a coalition government against them. But we're doing them against Germany, because they're the greater threat. We took Genoa. Is that enough? It is not. But almost. Almost. Meanwhile, we're still alive somehow. Italy capitulates. Great. Well, some of that went to the United Kingdom. That's not really an issue. Let's call military access so that we can mop them up. Because now we will need to attack the Germans from the south, because otherwise all of this will be ruined. Looks like Yugoslavia might survive, so let's cancel this order here. Come on, Brits, send some troops in here. Original government of Romania. This could be useful, but it will mess everything up here. That's not. Okay, that's something. Perhaps I can even get military access from you. Is that Peter the Second? Sure. That's fine. Cypher for Italy is decrypted. Oh, I don't need that anymore. I guess I will activate it because there are some Italian troops still surviving. Let's quickly finish the Hungarian one because it's just 55 days and then only focus on Germany. Japan attack the Allies, which means US joins the Allies, which means US should be coming here. Come on, United States, at least give me land lease. If Italy is the next after the war, will the debt clear? Oh, right, I forgot to use the anti-Italian stratagem. Let's use the anti-German one and the anti-Italian one. There are still some Italians alive and get better work conditions. That's about it. Why are there no troops defending Yugoslavia? It's not like Yugoslavia capitulated or something. Maybe there are some, I just don't see them. That's probably the second option. Now, I would like some United States troops to arrive. Maybe they would be so kind. I'm actually going to offer them military access. Maybe you'd like to put some troops in my territory. Made some progress in Germany, but they didn't want to fight this war anyway. Yeah, oh, whatever. Now, the Soviet Union should move some troops in here. This definitely did not go as planned. Can the Soviet push them back now? Open up the country investment schemes. Sure. Not sure anyone will invest right now when we're at war. You can try. We need some Soviet help here. More American. Hmm, have the Americans come. It is possible. It would be helpful. Liberation of Paris. Cool. Let's reveal this Hungarian cipher. Probably won't do much, but it can do something. Mm. Italy is being retaken. There's not much I can do. Send some troops here. A couple more. Mexico joins us. Let's try and get some investment from the Brits. France was retaken, but it doesn't look too good. British talking rights. Why? Why was this cancelled? I bypassed it? Or did they just agree to invest? And I missed it. You know what? I don't know. The Brits do not want us to seek further investment. Ah, you bastards. Looks like we did what we can. Now we have to wait. Although, they're pushing dangerously close to our borders in Yugoslavia. This should all go well, as long as Yugoslavia can hold off from capitulating. Because if they capitulate, we'll be in a bit of trouble. Philippines capitulate, not a big deal for us. This is promising, but uh, doesn't guarantee success. My manpower is very insufficient. Finally, the German cipher is decrypted. Let's use it. No, just said it was decrypted. They must have upgraded their encryption this moment. Two coalition governments done on Germany, third one underway. Oh, but they don't see 
keen to reduce their surrender threshold. At least the Allies seem to be doing something. Everything seems to have stalled and it's already 1942. But that's good. Stalled is good. God damn it, the Germans keep upping the cipher. Whoops, a minor disaster over in Italy. Why are you guys so concentrated? Try to cut them off. Can reduce Bulgarian independence, let's do that. But that'll give us some factories. Well, Soviet Union, push back. We are somehow surviving while the others are making gains. All we need to do is maintain this state of affairs long enough. I'm getting my troops out of Italy. Maybe that'll motivate the Soviet Union to actually do a good job here. Meanwhile, Belgium and Netherlands are restored. See, I got out of Italy and it's already a disaster. Maybe I should have stayed. All uh, right, I'll stay. Just down here though. Luxembourg capitulates again. I have cooperation governments in Germany, but they they still are at 20% for capitulation. Maybe in the last coalition government operation I'm doing will decrease the threshold. Things are not looking too bad. The Allies are actually pushing into Germany while we maintain our defense. We have suffered huge casualties, but we also have 13% participation, which is quite a lot concerning it involves uh, the Soviet Union and all of the Allies. As the war bonds don't really have anything better to do, okay, this is a good place to secure a defense. Don't even need to push. We even regain some territory, it seems. This is good. We're surviving. We're well equipped. We have enough manpower. We're even pushing back a little. My huge mistake that cascaded into this war, the mistake of attacking Hungary, well, we might recover from it. And the bulk of the German army is on the Soviet border, while the Allies are pushing into their core territory, which is great news for us. Psychological warfare, we'll use that in a moment. Should I go aggressive? Probably not. At least not yet. Although now it seems to mostly be the matter of who gets the most war score. So I should go aggressive. Let's be aggressive. Maybe we'll get some more occupation score. Will I be able to use that cipher? It's almost there. Fall of Berlin. Almost capitulated. Decryption in 10 days. And collaboration government complete. Two of them at 45, which means we have 100% collaboration from Germany, which still doesn't affect their surrender threshold. But it's fine. If we get any territory from Germany, we'll have full collaboration there. Cipher's decrypted. Well, it's about time. Let's use it. Will I actually get any German territory? Unlikely. 87% towards capitulation. Oh, well, that's a nice encirclement. Come on, die. Latvia joins the Allies. That might actually help, unless the Soviets attack it. But I don't have to join an attack. Just need to take Vienna and this should be over. Almost there. We've recovered Romania. But what we really need to take is Vienna or Brno and some other minor victory points and this will be over. Although by pushing into Hungary now, we are getting some occupation war score. See, I'm finally moving into Hungary. This was my goal. I just wanted Hungary, not a war with the Axis. How much longer? Not much longer. 97% towards capitulation. One major victory point or a couple smaller ones and Germany's done for. Oh, maybe the Soviets will give me some German territory. No, nope, they will give me nothing. Let's repaint our order and only attack from our own territory. Still at 12%. Well, oh, 13 even. And it's over, finally. Okay, good. And do we even get anything? How much did you guys take? Well, that doesn't seem fair, does it? <laughs> I want Germany. I want, I want at least some Germany. I know I had a low percentage, but not that low. Yeah, well, at least we'll get a vacation resort. That's all I can afford. Hmm, maybe some more. Well, that is not much. Not much at all. Well, actually, our alliance got most of Germany. Let's have a look at the factions. Okay, at least I got two bits of territory with full compliance, that's something. And some more bits of territory with lower compliance. Now, this is both a success and a failure. I tried to, I wanted to get much more from this, much, much more, but my attack on Hungary foiled my plans. That's why it's a failure. Why is it a success? Because we survived the fight against the Axis and prevailed in the end. Let's have a look. So the Comintern got Slovakia, Hungary, Albania and most of Germany, while the Allies got Austria, Italy, Yugoslavia and half of Poland. That's acceptable, I suppose. So yeah, definitely not the result I wanted, but I'm glad to have survived. Now, would I continue this? Not really. The attack on Hungary invalidated a large part of the game. See, I did want to conquer them and then build up my armies, wait for a proper moment to attack the Axis to have a large chunk of the thing. Now, if I were to continue this, I would turn against the Soviet Union. Uh, we're very weak now, we don't have any manpower and so on, but uh, we could remedy that, we could fix it. And we do have military access, so even if we leave the faction, we could take them on. I would classify this run as both a failure and a success. A failure because I made a mistake of attacking Hungary and pulled the wrath of the Axis upon myself. Which was the wrong thing to do. I should have left Hungary alone and build up my strength with a large proper army to assault the Axis at the most opportune moment. Instead, well, I didn't. We should have waited for them to attack the Soviet Union and refused the call to arms, set up a large army here and attacked them from Romania after they have reached deep into the Soviet Union. Instead, 
we pulled them into the war by attacking Hungary. So yeah, that's the mistake, that's why it is a failed run, and that's why I only got a little bit of territory, rather than most of Germany and Italy, which I would have received otherwise. Why is it a success? It's a success because despite this mistake we managed to survive and win. I didn't get much but I survived and we have beaten the Axis. So that's something, even with the mistake. I considered starting the run all over again after what happened, but I'm glad I didn't. We managed to pull through. Now would I continue this? No. No I wouldn't. At this point it's not much fun, but if I were to do it we could theoretically go against the Soviet Union or against Japan. Don't really want to fight the Allies too much of a hassle and they are a bit too strong. The Soviet Union I can handle, although by doing a little bit of cheating. It's a pity I didn't get to subjugate Germany at the peace conference, but oh well, 12% of war participation is not that much. Anyways, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'm going to end it here. Let me know what you think, if a semi-filed run like this is fun to watch, and do let me know if you prefer historical focuses, non-historical, totally random, or a mix of the above. Thank you for watching and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.